I don't even know what day it is, but we're sailing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Roberta. And I'm Duke. And after two years bringing this sailboat that was neglected for over 22 years back to life, it's finally time to start exploring. So don't forget to subscribe and to join us every Sunday for a new episode. Time to say goodbye to this beautiful place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, even though there is no wind right now, we need to leave because we need to take advantage of the current because we are three hours inside of a river and that means if we are against the river, we're gonna be really slow and we have a timing to arrive on the destination. We're gonna go to Barra de São Miguel and there is a reef there and there is a tricky entry and we need to get there on the right tide. That means two and a half days at 11 a.m. we need to meet our guide. Hello. Yeah, our pilot to go inside the reef and hopefully we get in time. Otherwise, we need to wait for another 24 hours to get there no. on the right time. We're gonna make in time, right? You. Making time? Excited, yeah, definitely. We're free to go. Done. <laughs> Mom and Dad are so good at this. You guys look lovely with matching shirts. Second step. I think I'm gonna leave the crew to do it because you know it needs to learn how to do that. So, give me some one, two. You need to do seventy-four. Another seventy-two. Oh, can I count seventy-four? Yeah, seventy-two. Seventy-two to go. Yeah. Okay, but still, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's really light actually. <laughs> but you guys are gonna get bored. Chica Pulu and them. Chica Pulu to do. We can count in all languages here. French now. You want? Cinquante un, cinquante deux, that's quatre. Seventy four is more. Last yes, four? see if it goes more. Not, let's keep it going. <laughs> So basically now we need to go a little bit south against the wind because there is a sand bank around this area. So we're just motoring, motor sailing all the way south around the sand bank and then we can put the boat to course and then we can sail. Oh good. Here we have 90 meters of depth. No. <laughs> That's true, we're going through a place where you have 90 meters and suddenly it's gonna go to 900 meters. Yay. So yeah, it's very steep. So let's see here, 90 meters, and then, Oops. then you drop your things, but yeah, no worries. You go from 90 to 1,000. That's a lot. And the rain came, as you can see. It's amazing how the ocean changes just a little bit far from land the ocean's so blue so our intention was to sail 
away from land a little bit because away from land we would have more wind and eventually the wind is going to pick up so it's much better to be offshore less fishing boats just you know safer and also more comfortable because the waves are just like longer because we are much deeper here is like in between i don't know 1000 and 2000 meters and close there just like 30 meters so it's much much better and supposedly soon the wind is going to start picking up hopefully it's been a long time we don't sail like properly offshore without engine like this way this new bench here oh your new bench yeah we didn't talk about that now we are a safe boat because until today we had no life raft and that's really really important so we bought this one this month hope we don't need to use it for its real thing yeah that's the that's the kind of thing that you have but you wish you don't you're never gonna use it's just gonna sit here and be a bench for us to use because you know better to play safe better to be safe than sorry <laughs> oh someone know how to say because i always say wrong that i always say <laughs> better safe than sorrow i always say something wrong i always say something wrong <laughs> just came back from the couch I've been sleeping since 10 p.m. Luca just went to the couch and it's around midnight and we are having 13 knots of wind and the velocity is around 3 we are just sailing almost daylight you one of the best feelings about sailing is watching the sunrise sunrises and sunsets The sun is coming, yay! So excited to see the sun coming up. There are so many, it's so cool, so many dolphins. That's such a cool way to wake up, it's just amazing. The water is so clear, it's so, so blue. Love it. What a beautiful day to be sailing! It's just so nice to check It's so peaceful and quiet. And blue. The blue today is amazing. Deep blue water. Looks amazing. Stunning. Brazil. That's Brazil. See? We also have blue water here. Yeah. Sometimes people think the water is always dirt because we are like in rivers and places like that. But actually you go a little bit offshore and the water is blue. Crystal clear. Deep blue. Let's see. Amazing. Let's see here. Life's good, life's good. Cheers. Did you sleep enough? Mm -hmm. Someone been sleeping for a long time already. That means I can sleep during the night because you're resting now, you know? It's good. I like it. I'd rather sleep during the night. Dinner time. One more night shift. Yeah, it's a really beautiful night out. It's hard to show on camera, but there are so many stars and the weather is just perfect. It's just like not cold, it's not hot. And the wind there is, I mean like right now 12.2 knots of wind and we're doing 4.8 knots of speed. So it's pretty good, really comfortable. The boat's not moving. It's just like, I don't know, it seems like we are anchored. It's really, really awesome. The crew is one is sleeping right there. The other one 
is right there sleeping and I'm here just enjoying the night beautiful night out what happened? a little squall it's always on when Hobera is by herself it's always when the squall comes but I was sleeping and I felt like suddenly like the wind like chipped really really quick but it was a really really quick one it was like I don't know two minutes it was just like and now it's raining and the wind's dying it's coming back it's, it's, it's 11 p.m. it's 11 p.m. it's all good time to go back to bed then This is our second sunrise on this passage. I think we've done 220 miles and we still have another 80 to go to get to Maceió. And it's another beautiful morning. It's stunning, such a beautiful sunrise. Check it out. And now we can see some dolphins, sunrise dolphins. Good morning. Third day at sea. Oh good, perfect. So why we float and wait? Because we cannot get there too early. We have some good food. Thank you. Sausage, potato and onions on the oven. Yeah, the reason why we're just floating is because we have the perfect timing to arrive because there is a coral reef that we need to cross, enter the channel at around 11 a.m. I guess. And we didn't make it today, so we need to wait for another 24 hours. And we, we need to do an average of 2.4 knots until we get there. So we're just like floating right now. It's hard actually. It's hard to keep two point something. <laughs> yeah, you know, you just float. I'm eating, it's too good. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, so you gotta eat. a little bit sleep but good morning. morning good morning it was supposed to be a two days crossing we told him it was gonna be a two days crossing we are waking up on day number four already sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do we are almost there we are like 15 miles to the entry of the channel but the problem the reason why we're slowing down so much is because we need to get there on high tide during the day and that means if we didn't make yesterday we need to wait for 24 hours Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, but hopefully now we are in time and we are all sails up and we've been sailing for I think we've been sailing for like two days straight. We've been sailing a lot, no engine at all, and the weather is helping us a lot. Awesome. The main problem from now on is that we are crossing the we call the continental platform. That means that the depth is gonna be from it's gonna go from like 1000 meters to 40 meters in five miles and that means a lot of fishermen fishing around here because that's the place where the fish are that's what they say at least so we need to keep an eye for fishing nets and for fishing boats and everything there are two there 
There is one there, and we need to avoid them. Oh, good. Arriving in Alagoas after 73 hours trip. You finally. <laughs> we no. can see land already, so that's why everyone's using cell phones right now. <laughs> we don't have internet after some days. <laughs> after three days, three days without, you know, a lot of people wanting to talk to us, so we are important people. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> just on my phone, sorry guys. <laughs> no, but it was really good. The last, the last two days we sailed the whole two days. It was like amazing. Just blue water, just nothing else we can ask for. Just so awesome. We just on the sail. We've seen whales. We've seen dolphins. It's been amazing. It's such a good time. The water yeah. is nice. Yeah, night Perfect. night shift was really cool. Yeah, yeah, it's full of stars. The sky was looking amazing. And somehow we managed to, you know, keep track with time because we were like two days ago sailing two knots one and a half knots of really really slow trying to time the perfect time to arrive here and we did a good job and maybe good job guys did we do good a good job, job team Woo! we made it <laughs> not yet it's, we are not there yet nine miles nine miles <laughs> nine miles to go <laughs> Oh, yeah. This okay. is a bilge pump. It's working. Bilge pump is working. It's on. <laughs> oh, good. Bilge pump is working. That's awesome. Great news. <laughs> what most people do when they <laughs> when they are bored? Nothing. You just sit around in this. We tried dancing. We tried a lot of things. Yeah. We ran out of things to do. Yeah. Too many days at sea. So <laughs> tell me, how did you meet Duca? I met Duca. I think maybe what. Eight years ago? Ten years ago. Ten years ago, wow. <laughs> Time flies. So ten years ago on an engineering event about building information modeling. Yeah, a little while back and since then we had each other on social media I guess. That's it. And we've both been sailing and yeah, I guess that's the main thing we had in common. But the thing is we met for I think less than 10 minutes 10 years ago and we never seen each other again <laughs> but That's now it. we've been That's spending a whole week in the boat <laughs> <It's> like years <laughs> <you're here. laughs> no, it's just like 10 years no. yeah right <laughs> oh good oh good it's like you have your friends that you see every now and then but yeah. spending full time all day around like a whole week like eight days with that I've been on this people, boat with, strange with people, people yeah with strange people yeah Weird ones. they're not strange but it's strange by the end of it yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> after a week full time with someone you yeah. rather love them or you hate them. True. I'm glad they didn't throw me out in the water. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, like, social media is crazy because even though we met for 10 minutes, we've been seeing each other's pictures yeah. on Instagram for 10 years. So that means in 10 years, you kind of feel like you know the person because you've seen so many pictures that somehow you believe you know the person. Yeah. Even though you don't. <laughs> <laughs> the reality uh, is, if we knew, we wouldn't, you know. Oh good. oh good. I hadn't been in Brazil in so many years and then when I see my friends that that, that I just keep track on social media yeah. and I see them in person, it's like damn you look old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so on social media you can look younger. Be careful, be careful. <laughs> Don't trust social media, that's, that's the truth. Uh, when Julian you is already invited to go to the Caribbean if you he wants to or if he can. <laughs> he his job by that's two months. Very two exciting. Months. Yeah. yeah, I've been on holidays for five weeks. And I need to go back to work next Monday. Not that excited about it, but that's life. We are but working right now, can you tell? Us? Yeah, I don't even know what day it is, but we're sailing. <laughs> <laughs> Go there up. 40, 41, 45. Lovely to have a crew on board. Don't, Don't fall. fall. <laughs> you got the point right. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Let's do the other one. The He's excited, he doesn't know what's coming for him. Searching on the ML. 130 rounds to go. Good to have crew on board. 
the good thing is that he got me because he's like, I love to take people on my boat that never sailed before because I put them to work. I'm like, hmm, never came to my boat, so you gotta work now. 40, just 90 to go. Yeah. <laughs> just quick rest, catch my breath. 15 to go. 115 rounds so far. And my shoulder is screaming. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's right. Thank you. Thanks for your service. You can go now. Yeah. We did it. We did it. Job done. Mission accomplished. No, yeah, we need to go into the channel. That's gonna be tricky. My part's done. That's his problem. You. We are waiting for the pilot that's gonna come to help us to cross the bar. We can't see the pilot yet. We can see waves breaking there. The view from here is beautiful. And after three days, we are arriving to this beautiful place that I didn't know it exists, actually. Going backwards, wait to the pilot to come. So we are just stalling here. At least it's a beautiful day. What a nice crossing we did. Here comes our pilot. The pilot is coming between the waves that are breaking. I have no idea where we need to go. E lá vamos nós para mais uma praticagem. Tá ali o veleiro, ó. Eu vou sair hoje aqui pela boca de barra caixa de bambu, que a gente chama. Vou sair aqui e entrar com ele pela de lá, que é a passagem original. E aí, Luca? Bem-vindos desde já, partiu Chela Marina. The guy looks a bit insane. He just said, follow my turn. Just that. Here we go. <laughs> Feeling confident, Captain? A little bit scary, this. There's like waves everywhere, but we're gonna make it. There's reefs there. There's reefs there. But we can, we can make it. We're looks up. insane. Let's go. <laughs> you guys are a bit crazy, isn't it? Yeah. There's waves breaking on the both sides. Comandante Duca! Vamos que vamos, Eduardo! Olha! Yeah. Bem-vindos! Vocês já se foram em Águas Barrenses! Segura! Primeiro! You're doing well, Captain. You're doing well. All good. I think we're good. Good on you, mate. Right doing there. awesome. You. How are you feeling, Roberta, with all these breakers around it was everywhere? Way better than I thought, actually. <laughs> so many breakers everywhere. This is mad. We're very, very close to shore. As the center bar is up, we are with the winds beside us, and the boat's moving a lot. The feeling is that we're dragging sideways. This is crazy. Hopefully we'll make it there safe and sound. For sure we needed a pilot. We wouldn't make it. Yeah, definitely need a pilot. This is crazy. <laughs> With polarized lens, you can see the depth really really well. Oh, like it helps a lot. You can see where it's shallow. You can see some shallow spots. You can see how shallow it is over there. That's why we're coming this way, because over there is deeper. Actually, impossible to come here without the pilot. <laughs> yeah, very hard. If you've done it once and you have the track and you have a spotter on the bow, you could do it. But without the track or a spotter, it would be really hard. Luckily, we have the pilot. Right now, we have our center board up, so we have one meter draft, so we can come in any tide. But if we had a regular queue, we would need to wait a little bit more so the tide would go up and we would be able to come inside. The worst part then. <laughs> Ooh, finally we've done it. How are you feeling going going back home today? Oh, I feel sad. I want to stay longer on hard. Be having too. such a good time. I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you guys too. Mm. So sad I have to go. I'll be back one day for more adventures. And Somewhere you guys can... else. <laughs> yeah. Back in hand. I'm doing the back hand job. Someone gotta do it. It's not the way you play the line, but. Yes. Ready? Ready or not? Here, Here we, we go. go. <laughs> Still have time to dance. Because in Northeast Brazil, people dance a lot. I just yeah. don't know how to dance, but <laughs> usually they dance a lot. 
I was just faking to make it. It's a really nice place. Oh, so nice. We need to put the anchor down and then go forward with the boat to get to the pier. So that's the maneuver. As you need to stay far away from the deck due to the wind vane, we are trying to find a better way to go out of the boat with the dinghy. Now we need to find a place to eat because we are really hungry. Time to eat. My belly is empty. I need food. This That's is one happy family. <laughs> By the way, that was an family. awesome crossing. That was so cool. Thanks so much. Really appreciate it. Main Street. Someone didn't tell me it was gonna be a one kilometer walk. Time to go explore a little bit. <laughs> Let's go for deep in the ocean. So cool, we decided to come here because I want to see from the other side what is the pass that we just came by. We just came into that pass right there. <laughs> it's so different seeing from the beach. It seems like no way I would put my boat there. <laughs> Go! Yo. Yo. Yeah. Stay. Oh, no. No. <laughs> I'll miss you guys. Take care. We'll do. Go through the shade. <laughs> 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 See you guys next time. Just the two of us again. Solo. Mm, it's, like, it's a good thing as well. Okay. It's good, but we were gonna miss friends. Is good ah, or more. Sure. Yeah. I'm See you guys tomorrow. Sure it's really dark. Yeah. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs> So Bat is filming me now, she has this massive beautiful camera, I must look a lot like prettier, I must be handsome on that camera, not normally but on that camera I must look nice. Bullshit, bullshit. <laughs>